guilt never goes away for me. You get used to it, but it never goes away. Your fall protection failed. I'm like, no, I did. Went to work, signed the clipboard for a safety meeting and completely ignored it. And our goal that day was to power wash the outside of the paper mill. My idea was let's climb on top of the handrail. It was just plain old handrail on a 30 foot platform. For a little bit, I was tied off at this point. I wiggled, felt safe. I looked down a conduit, cross beams. There's not any way I could fall through that. I unhooked my safety harness and I got the chills, the goosebumps like fingernails on a chalkboard. Just something wasn't right. By the time I even blinked, the swing staging hit me in the chest, threw me back about 10 feet, hard hat, safety glasses came off. First one I felt was a humongous explosion in the back of my head and then a, a big snap, severed spinal cord, so they labeled me as complete. There's never a chance. You don't want to get that phone call. Our son was two. What would I tell him? What would I tell Russ's mom? Every time we do a presentation, people come up and tell us their stories, and they're so much sadder. 80% of the people that end up alone, a lot of the kids, they end up turning to drugs or alcohol or suicide. Spencer is our son. He was on my lap and goes, what do you say at these meetings? And I go, I tell them my story, that the accident was my fault. They don't think of themselves, think of your family. Spencer said, how come you didn't think of me? <laughs> I, when you're thinking about doing something unsafe, just think twice and think about why you don't want to be unsafe.